now, your 2 News Oklahoma weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. We definitely need some rain because we have too many fires going on tonight across the area. All of those red dots, those are active fires and the smoke thickness moderate here in this gray shading that extends from McAllister all the way up through Tulsa and Skyatook and out towards OKC and some lighter smoke, especially in Bartlesville and Coffeyville at this time. In terms of the air quality right now, it's unhealthy for sensitive groups around Eufaula and McAllister. We have moderate air quality in Tulsa up through Bartlesville and Coffeyville, so better air quality to come over the next couple of days because of all this rain. And this is just the rainfall accumulation forecast for tomorrow on Monday. Generally one to an inch and a half of rain in some cases though upwards of two inches. So this is just one day. It's going to be very wet tomorrow, but a welcome sight because of all the fire concerns right now. 66 degrees is the current temperature today for the first day of spring. We reached 80 degrees at the Tulsa International Airport with that morning low down to 41 and still pretty low on the relative humidity at 29%. Right now in Grove 61, upper 50s in Pryor, low 60s in Muskogee and mid 60s in Stigler. On the satellite picture, notice we did have some high thin cirrus clouds into the mix today. Those have cleared out temporarily, but that big system is coming in from the west and so clear skies right now, but then increasing clouds later tonight and especially tomorrow morning on future track radar and the cloud cover increasing clouds tomorrow morning with some rain showers some sporadic showers in the morning but that rain really gets heavy especially for the afternoon and tomorrow evening. We could even see some isolated thunderstorms crossing the area, southeast Kansas and eastern Oklahoma. That rain is going to continue heavy at times for tomorrow night, and then it exits overnight. Maybe a few more showers starting to come through. You can see, for example, there around 9 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. Possibility of seeing some more showers on Wednesday, but the heaviest rain is definitely going to come through tomorrow. In terms of the storm outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, it looks like a very busy day. All eyes on this zone here from Austin up to Waco and Houston. That's a level three out of five. Very dangerous situation setting up tomorrow. We're kind of on the northern periphery of that zone, so maybe an isolated strong to severe storm with that activity, for example, around Seminole and McAllister out towards the Poto area. Tonight we're down to 51 degrees. That morning low forecast, mild conditions and breezy. Some gusts upwards of 20 to 25 with those morning lows into the 40s and 50s. 50 in Tahlequah and 52 in Oak Mulgee. Daytime highs tomorrow. What a difference. 57 in Bristow and mid 60s around Pryor and also in Grove. In the Tulsa area, 60 degrees with that 100% chance of rain and it looks pretty windy as well. Gusts between about 35 and 40. 40. Your latest 10 day forecast on Tuesday and Wednesday chance for a few showers, but again, the heaviest rain is coming through tomorrow down into the 50s Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, but popping up to 70 on Friday along with mostly sunny skies. As of now, next weekend looks pretty decent mid 60s to right around 70 degrees with mostly sunny skies chance for more rain showers increasing next week.